what is up guys this is Godsway here from Seren ads and i welcome you back to my youtube channel once again and in this tutorial we are going to design this test effect in puzzle lab okay how to add a clipping mask okay how to add a picture to your test to appear just like the one you are seeing on the screen right now okay so if if you've been able to do this you can equally use it when you are designing birthday flyers okay so i think in my subsequent video i'll make a birthday flyer with it so just stay tuned and follow me okay so if you don't have puzzle lab just click the link in the description and download the puzzle lab right away okay i'll provide every resource that i'll be using here in the description as well so that you can go ahead and download them and use okay so enough of that let's get to work so the first thing that we are going to be doing is to add our test preferably we are going to add 25 which is our test so i'll just go ahead and type that 25 and tap on ok so i'll select a font probably i'll select poppins okay poppins you can use any any other font that you like but i'm going to use poppins black for this one and i'll increase the size of everything okay so I'll make sure that the size is big enough for me to use okay so I'll just put it here like this and probably I'll change the color of the test okay so there are some things that I need to take note of when doing this so let me see I'll change the color to this and I'll add stroke to the test Probably I'll use white for the stroke and I just have to increase the size of the stroke a bit okay, I think 12 is okay for me so I'll go ahead and make a duplicate of the test and I'll just hide the duplicate so that will be left with this one I'll just position it well at the middle right here like this now let me lock it as well now the next thing that I'll be doing is to add a shape okay so I'll bring this shape in like this and I'll change the color of the shape to let's say blue okay I think blue is okay so now when you bring in the shape make sure that you position the shape okay let me let me just do it this way send it to the back first then make sure you position it well okay it shouldn't be like this okay it should come down like this i'm explaining this thing so that you do not do any mistakes in the tutorial it should it shouldn't also come down like this it should be in line with the test like this okay it should be in line with it like this so once you've done that go ahead and match this two this one the 25 and the shape okay so this and this so i'll tap here select these two then match them like this so right after that i'll go for the erase color tool so I'll enable it and tap on the color picker here then i'll select this this color the color of the test okay and i'll tap on the check mark so it will appear like this Okay, you can increase the tolerance a bit depending on what you want okay i think 15 is okay for me good so this is what we have now this is what we are having now and what's the next thing that we need to do okay i'll just lock the layer now what's the next thing that we need to do the next thing that we have to do is to go go for our picture that we want to use so we tap on the import and select the particular picture that you want to use okay so I'm just going to pick the picture that I use in, in my previous video I'll use the same picture right here so I'll tap on the check mark increase the size of the picture a bit to my you know preference okay so I think this is okay for me this is okay for me I'll just position it like this and make a duplicate of it okay so i have a duplicate of it like this okay i can decide to put it on it like this 
let, let me position them at the middle so that you don't get confused i'm going to pick the second one and direct and position that one to at the middle like this okay so right after this i'll lock i'll hide and even lock the top one so that it will be left with the down one right here now what you need to do is to push this one to the back of your the test that you remove the color of so we send it to the back like this and this is how it will be appearing okay this is how it will be appearing now if you don't like it this way you can increase the size of it to fill in the whole test but if you are okay with it like this you can leave it so for this tutorial i will just leave it this way okay so what we have to do next is to match the two so we go to the layers again and what we are going to match is this and this so we tap here and match these two like this now what we have to do then is to go to the erase color tool again and this time around we are removing the blue so we pick the color pick out tool and select the blue like this okay if you are not seeing this clearly let me change the background color so that you see exactly what we are doing okay now this is what we have right here so the next thing that we need to do is to bring in our picture the one that we we've hidden okay this particular one we have to bring it back so let's lock the top layer bring this picture back so we have this picture here okay we have it here what we need to do is to make sure that it's at its position that we've pinned it before okay make sure that it's at that position now what we will do is what we'll do is to make sure that we cut or we, we remove parts of the picture that's not needed so we have to come back to this tool then go to mask okay enable mask then we remove the parts that we don't need just like this okay we remove the parts that we don't need if you're okay with it you tap on a check mark and it will appear like this now once you've done it like this you can go back and enable your test okay the 25 that you've hidden before you can go and bring it up now go and change the color of your background to another color so that you see everything clearly okay so this is what we'll be doing you just have to position the 25 well 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 under your design so that it will be appearing just like the one i'm doing right here hope you guys are following this if you are following this then give this video a like and leave a comment in the comment section okay so once that is done and you are satisfied just lock the layer and leave it like this okay but you know something i want to remove some parts of the person's picture again so i'll go back to the picture that we just imported this one for that matter i'll just go back to it highlight it then come back to the masking tool okay and i'll make sure i use it to remove some parts of the picture okay like this some parts that i don't i don't want them to be showing i'll remove them so like i said it depends on your preference okay the parts that you want to be showing you can leave them to show the parts that you don't want to show you definitely have to cut them off just like i'm doing using the masking tool okay Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial give this video a like and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel yet okay so once i'm okay with this this is what i want okay i'll just go ahead and leave it like this i can decide to merge everything together now because i'm okay with my work so i can merge everything like this and if you are someone who would like to add some effects to it 
you can decide to add shadow so let's go to shapes tap on this go for circle reduce the size of the circle just like this one then reduce the opacity to zero go to stroke increase it and come down to re blur radius increase it like this then tap on the check mark so once you have it right here like this just reduce the size of it a bit okay then go for this one the trans the opacity reduce the opacity of it put it down like this as if you like to add shadow this is what you just have to do okay So basically that is it if, if you want your shadow to be popping you can you can play with the colors and see the one that will make your shadow more visible preferably white will make it visible but our stroke is also having white that's why i don't want to use white okay so this one will also make it visible okay so basically that is it and i hope to see you in the next tutorial pleasure